Okay, never mind the mess here. Let's see what this thing looks like. Cool. You're in buggy. kit that I bought. Obviously it already has a liquids bucket, so this is an extra. Take a look. Oh yeah. All kinds of stuff in here. Hoses for the vents. This is a vent housing that you would normally put on the side of the structure. Got the uh, handle for the Agitator, whatever, cap for the liquids bucket. A couple more pieces here. I don't know. Some stuff. Cute little bottle. You want to spray. Anyway, I'm going to keep all that in there for now. And let's go test fit. All right, I need to still cut out a little bit of fiberglass back here so we're not pinching this hose. And I need to cut out some fiberglass here. That's where the spider handle needs to pass through on the side of the composting head. But I just kind of forced this back and squished that hose a little bit. This is kind of how it's shaping up. So that's kind of how it's going to fit in there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's see. Cool. To mount the air vent for keeping the composting head dry, I think I might actually leverage the waste port, the pump out port that's already here on the boat and obviously no longer necessary now that I have no tank. I wonder if I can use this or at least this area, this hole, to mount my vent. It would be cool if I could use this entire fitting because it's about the same size as the tubing that I have for the vent. Alright, so this is how much tubing I have to work with, reserving the necessary amount on the inside of the boat. And it's, if I just stretch it a little tiny bit, it is long enough to connect up to this. So I should be able to put a clamp on that, and then I won't need to use any PVC out here. So I'm gonna use this. composting head kit I bought. This is what they provided as a vent and it's really just a little plastic nut, a PVC pipe end cap with a hole drilled in it, and a PVC T fitting where they glued in these little mesh vents all glued to a piece of PVC pipe. I might be able to use this or I might not. Depends on what I see at the hardware store. If I can find something the same threads as this that I could screw down into that pump out port. I might be able to make something kind of like this. That'll work. Because this is a little bit bigger than the one inch PPC. And this is a little bit fatter than this. Correction, this is inch and a quarter PVC and PVC fittings. So I know what I need to look for. So, as I suspected, this and this are an inch and a half pipe thread. So what I found was this inch and a half male, inch and a quarter female adapter. 
So I'm gonna screw that in and then cut this down, but solvent weld this into here. Boy, that'd be look really goofy if I left it that tall. extra precaution for water intrusion. And now I'm gonna take this. How awesome is that? Let's see how far she wants to go. Let's try to get her sideways. Perfect. There we go. Throw the uh, special water cap on there. I'd say that's done. There's our air vent. So for inside the boat near the vent fan, you can use inch and a quarter PVC fittings and they recommend using a street elbow, which has the female side that would made up to inch and a quarter pipe but then a male pipe end sticking out. It's very hard to find inch and a quarter PVC for some reason, but I managed to find this inch and a quarter regular elbow. So I'm gonna make my own street elbow using a piece of this cutoff inch and a quarter that I borrowed from the outlet. So, about that much. I really wish I had my miter saw with me. pieces. Um, I have a habit of only primary one piece. I also don't want purple showing. Primer is probably not even necessary in something like this. We don't even need to be watertight. There you have it. Inch and a quarter street elbow. Yep. So ignore the mess for now and the big gaping holes everywhere. We'll deal with that later. But this is where that hose is coming in from the sail locker. I'm using the existing route that was created probably by one of the previous owners of this boat to pass the air. It used to be for stinky water plumbing. And here's the other end of that hose. It needs to connect to this. Since I don't have a lot of room there, 
I took the option of adding the inch and a quarter street elbow, which I had to create on my own, and I'll connect that up to that hose. Yeah, totally not even necessary to use a hose clamp. This is gonna fit on nice and tight. And then by the way, here's the port for the 12 volts for the fan, which is right in here. Fan blows out. I hate that it has to make these two 90 degree bends, but oh well. And then over here is another port that is the intake. So fresh air goes in, blows out, goes out into the sail locker and ultimately through the deck. And then provided is this single pin connector wire that I can plug into that and then connect up to a 12 volt power source. There's no fuse in there. Oh, and we can see that there's nothing here, right there, plugged into it. So that is going to be our composting head exhaust fan, as well as the sump pump for the shower basin. Now that that's there, the fan should be running. It is off, on, it's blowing. It's quite a little thing. Good output. I right here. I can feel it. Huh. That's a stronger flow than I ever would have expected. I put the spider handle on, which when spun, goes and uh, mixes up compost. 